Hello everyone, hope you're having a good day. So if you've been around my channel a while, uh, you know we have a viewer that we lovingly call Johnny5. Now he helps out all the time on the live streams. He does a lot of towing with his Tundra. Um, he does a lot of aftermarket work to his Tundra. So he's always there to answer questions on some of the things that he's tried that have worked and some of the things not so much. Well today, I have another one for you uh, that he wanted me to tell you guys about. Uh, and this is really going to be directed at those of you that own a 2018 and up Tundra, which means you have Toyota Safety Sense and specifically that sensor in the front. And say you want to upgrade to a TRD Pro grill, but you don't want to spend all of that money on the 2019 and up TRD Pro grill. So what Johnny5 did, which I will read you his story momentarily, he ended up putting on a 15 to 17 TRD Pro Grill, which actually I know a lot of you guys like more than the 19 and up one. So he was able to put a 15 to 17 TRD Pro Grill on his 2018, and he was able to find a relocation bracket that has worked amazing for him, in turn saving him upwards of $500 by going with that 15 to 17 TRD Pro Grill. So let me read you his story, and then we'll come on back and you let me know what you think. I wanted to change the chrome grill surround on my cement gray Tundra, to color match the truck and delete all the chrome. I had searched for a new grill and the ones with TSS forward facing sensor were very expensive, over a thousand dollars with the hood bulge. I really liked the way the 2014 to 17 TRD Pro grill looks and was able to find that grill for around $500. So for under half the price, I could get a better looking grill. That factory color matched my favorite colored Tundra. The only problem I had was what to do about the TSS forward-facing sensor. So I searched the forums and found some homemade solutions that seemed to have mixed results. For some guys, the homemade solutions worked without any problems, and for others, they had nothing but problems. The ones that had problems had issues with getting the sensor fixed due to the modifications it took to relocate the sensor. I figured someone out there has to have made a relocation bracket. So I Google searched Toyota Tundra TSS forward facing sensor relocation bracket. The results made me very happy. I found two companies that made a relocation bracket. One was called Joe Max and the other is called AJT Design. The Joe Max relocation bracket is very sturdy. It's made of CNC 6061 aircraft grade aluminum, anodized black. The price is also high quality at $115. The other company, AJT Designs bracket is 3D printed. So it's made of plastic. But I know from experience that 3D printed plastic can be pretty strong. And the price was too good to pass up. $34.99. I figured I would take a chance on AJT and purchase the less expensive bracket. I ordered online directly from their website at AJTDesign-LLC.com. When the package arrived, in a timely matter I should add, I opened the package and found a very sturdy product with all mounting hardware and clear easy to follow directions. The bracket installed in less than 10 minutes, not counting the grill removal. I was able to install the 2014-17 to TRD Pro grill with body color match surround and hood bulge for around 540 bucks. That includes the price of the relocation bracket. It's very discreet and looks 100% factory. I've had it on for about a month now and driven almost 2,000 miles with no issues from the TSS system. It all still functions as it should, including the active cruise control. This little $35 bracket saved me over $500. All right, so if you're one of those owners that has an 18 and up Tundra, and you really like the 14 to 17 TRD Pro grill, now you have an opportunity, if you'd like, to buy one for your truck and you don't have to go for the more expensive 2019 and up grill. So a couple things I want you to do in the comments below. Number one, which TRD Pro grill do you like more? And number two, is this something you would be interested in? I know a lot of people wanna get rid of their 18 and up grills because like Johnny Five said of the Chrome, there are a lot of Chrome delete fellas out there. Uh, so this is a good way to do it. And I, again, know that there are a ton of people that like that 14 to 17 grill. So let me know what you think. Um, thank you, Johnny Five, for helping everybody out. $500 or almost $500 worth of savings is definitely worth telling the crowd about for sure. Uh, let me know if any of you out there have already done this or if you're planning to do this. Until next time, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook at TundraDude34, TundraDude34 at gmail.com. You guys have a great night and be safe.